um, well within reach. Start of the pen of Ankai. Um, just going to start my warm up. The only tricky bit with this trail is there's quite a lot of like drainage gutters that run across the road. So it's going to be fun trying to maintain a pace up there, but looking forward to this one being over. I've come down this trail, which is kind of along the main road, which is along there. And these mountains up here, I'm fairly certain coming across there and down is part of the South Wales 100 route. Um, I will check that out on the map later, but I know I'm only a couple of months into this 50 mile training now for this year, but I always like looking ahead and I really, really want to do 100 mile in next year. Assuming I come out of the 50 in really good shape, you know, and feeling like I wasn't completely broken at the end. So, if I can do that, next year will be a 100 mile year and it'll be the South Wales 100, I think, unless something bigger and better pops up. But I do love these mountains and um, it would be so cool to do my first 100 on the course that I did my first 50. Um, Anyway, I'm just going to keep on running now and then I'm going to jog back up the hill uh, and then do some dynamic stuff to complete my warm up. Um, warm up done. Uh, I'm just about to start my main session, so three minutes up, three times. Um, right. Two out of three times. Right, guys, so that's Hill Reps done. Um, have to say that is the hardest session I do or have done over the last eight weeks. Um, three minutes up a 20% incline three times is tough. First rep I went out a little bit too quick again, got to two minutes and then I was hanging on, got to about two and a half minutes and then had to kind of power hike the rest. Um, second and third rep I did three minutes but I slowed it down a bit but it was still very painful. It was still, it was still hanging on after two minutes, but I must have reduced it that much just to allow me to complete it. Every th every time I was doing a rep, I was just thinking, how this is going to help. Like, this may suck right now. It's painful. I don't like, don't enjoy doing it. But I just think about the benefit. I think about how doing this over the next few weeks is going to pay dividends in terms of stuff like maybe my pace will increase in general, maybe my heart rate will decrease doing these kind of efforts, just overall fitness improving, you know, and if I want to be a good runner, if I want to do this 50 mile race and do it in, kind of my goal is 12 hours, if I, if I want to do that, I need to nail these workouts, and I feel like I did today, but it's tough when you know you're out and you've got to push hard. But I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because 
tomorrow, although it's a three hour long run, it's at a much more leisurely pace and I really enjoy those workouts. So I've got myself a good plan for tomorrow. I'm thinking of starting in Rudry, which is kind of where I normally start, but then running up and through over Macham Mountain, drop down the other side and then into Kum Khan. So if any of you guys know South Wales pretty well, you realize those are some pretty big climbs I've put in there. Just like today was hard, and it's gonna make me a better runner, going out in those shitty conditions tomorrow when uh, I do not want to be out in the shitty weather, that is gonna make me a better runner as well. Yo, what's up guys? What a difference a week makes. It's sunny, it's a blue sky, and a little bit chilly. But at least, um, at least I haven't got my head down and running through that awful, awful rain. So, today we've got three hours, just started, and I've got two massive climbs, two really big climbs today. Cannot wait, let's get going. up guys so I've reached the first climb we're about half hour in uh, taking it nice and slow like I said earlier trying to keep the heart rate in zone 2 and it's really easy to get it up into zone 3 when I'm powering up a hill you can see my um, my speaking's already off a little bit so let's just check we are good, Jess. But anyway, really long climb to go, but some awesome views at the top. I might, might get the drone out. Do you see that hill, guys? Forty-eight percent gradient. Fuck it out. This is burning. What's up, guys? So, at the top of Machen Mountain now. Uh, one hour in. So I'm doing pretty well, actually. Um, is a downhill section now but then after that I'm not quite sure where I'm going so uh, I might have to get the phone out I might just have to wing it but let's see if I can show you where we're off now as we head down there should be a massive mountain just over this ridge here an hour in. That's the hill I'm going up next, so we're dropping all the way down into the valley and all the way up to Marlum. Um, how awesome is it having blue skies? Oh, it's really starting to feel better about the weather stuff now. It's, it's coming towards the end of February, so spring is hopefully right here. We've had a few bad weeks. It's been so, so dark and dreary running. And now, Got a blue sky out, a bit of a breeze. But overall, I'm feeling quite fine. If anything, I'm feeling a bit warm. Um, so, I've got to now work out how I'm getting down this valley and all the way up the other side without getting lost. There's a, some sort of motorway I've got to cross. I'm fairly certain there's like a, a bridge or tunnel that goes under it. Right. Let's get the phone out and work out where the hell I am. Right, I need to follow alongside the railway track, cross over up the road. Okay. So. 
you look all good. Well, the weather might have improved, but the mud remains, and it's not making it easy for me. Yo, what's up guys? So, um, this is the last climb of the day, so I'm going to use this opportunity to chat to you. Um, I'm about two and a half hours in, feel pretty good. Um, achy, but good. I'm looking forward to my recovery week now, only half an hour left. And it's time to relax, kind of. Um, so I've got another couple of K of climbing. And then there's a nice kind of flat bit along the top with a few little hills, nothing much. And then somehow I need to get back down to the car park, which usually involves sneaking on the mountain biking trails. So we'll see, see what the time is. <clears throat> no real lessons learned from today. I've been pretty good with pacing. A couple of points I've gone into zone three. Let's just check now. Borderline. You can tell from my breathing, but I'd say the only thing I'm slightly disappointed on today is I wish I'd done a bit more distance. I'd probably been a bit overkill on the elevation, but that doesn't hurt. And to be honest, my weekly distance is still pretty big these days. That one long run doesn't really matter. Before I sign off guys, I just wanted to promote a channel, which is what I'm doing now every week. So this week, it's Ginger Al, uh, Ginger Al the trail runner, he's a mate of mine, he's from the same running club, lives on the same estate as me actually, and he is, he is, he's another vlogger, and he makes some awesome videos, so i put his link up there, put his link down there, I'd appreciate it if you go and check him out and subscribe, and as usual, every week I'm going to nominate a new channel to talk about. So please go and enjoy his content as well. And um, see you guys next week while I'm having a recovery.